I'm making a pot of cowboy bacon beans, and the cowboys and the kids are gonna love them. All right, I've got a pound of thick cut bacon. I cut it into pieces and I've been frying it in this pot. Most of the fat has rendered. So I'll throw in a diced onion. These beans are gonna be so flavorful. Lots of different things going on. And then I have two green bell peppers and I cut them into kind of a big dice. I'll throw those in. Now I'm just gonna stir these around and let them cook. I want the peppers and onions to get just a little bit of color on them before I move forward. All the guys love a big pot of beans and these are especially delicious. They're a little bit spicy, a little bit sweet, really, really satisfying. All right, I've got four cups of pinto beans. I washed them all and I picked out all the little particles. I'll stir those into the bacon, onions, and peppers. And now I'm gonna add a whole bunch of other ingredients. First, I'll top off the beans with water, and I'm just gonna pour enough water in so that it's about an inch over the surface of the beans. All right, now I've got four cloves of minced garlic, and I'll just throw it on in. These beans have such great flavor, I just love them. All right, now I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of ketchup. Just gonna eyeball everything. And then probably two tablespoons of mustard. You can use Dijon or grainy country mustard. I'm just using the bright yellow stuff. And then to give the beans a little bit of sweetness, I'm gonna add in a good amount of brown sugar, probably three-fourths a cup or so. These are actually gonna be a little bit like baked beans in a pot once they're finished cooking. All right, and then for some zip and spice, I'll add a good tablespoon of chili powder. This will also give the beans a really nice color. All right, and then of course, they need plenty of salt. There are a lot of beans in here. And then lots and lots of black pepper. All right, now I'll just stir this around, and I think it looks about perfect. The beans are boiling and they look great. So I'm just gonna reduce the heat and let them simmer for about three hours till the beans are tender and the sauce is really thick. A classic cowboy side, cowboy bacon beans. 